We're going to take a look at a fairly new product now called SOLIDWORKS Inspection. Just before we show you a brief demonstration of this tool though, it's worth pointing out uh, why this tool was developed. So inspection documents typically are a very manual uh, process, so somebody in the quality department may take a SOLIDWORKS drawing or a PDF file and they'll manually mark up each of the drawings that needs to be inspected uh, and then print that out and generate an Excel report. Because SOLIDWORKS inspection is an automated tool, it can give you some really high time savings of up to 50%. As I mentioned, it's an automated process. Uh, it's also a fairly easy to use tool with little or no training required. It should meet all your inspection document needs, irrespective of which CAD software you're using. So it comes with two uh, types of system. It comes with a standalone application, plus also a fully integrated SOLIDWORKS add-in. It carries support for SOLIDWORKS drawings, PDFs and TIFF files. So we'll take a look at the standalone product. Uh, we'll take a look at the SOLIDWORKS add-in first. So it is an add-in, so it's embedded into the system, which means we don't need to leave the interface. It's a project-based system, so all I'm going to do is create a project from a template if we're using any particular standards. I'm then faced with a screen that allows me to create some properties within that project. So we may want to capture information like the part number. And you'll see because this is aware of SOLIDWORKS documentation and custom properties, we can actually access these directly from here. So we'll take that description through and maybe the revision as well. Once we've done that, we'd need to set some characteristic information about what number we're starting at, whether we're going counterclockwise or clockwise, and the default classification method for any dimensions that we're picking up. We can also specify whether we're creating a reference for each instance, or if we've got uh, a quantity of two, for example, on a dimension, we can just add a quantity field to that. You can also specify some options for sampling, uh, and your AQL level as well. If we just move on to the next section, we're then looking at what we can extract from the drawing. So you'll see here it's set to include dimensions of all types. It's telling me that it's going to split the chamfer dimensions. We can also choose to include or exclude notes and any information on the sheet format. And then further down the bottom it includes information about your uh, tolerancing information, welds and surface finishes. We then can configure a specific tolerance table uh, within our document. So if you're using general tolerances, uh, as shown here, for the decimal places, we can use that. Or alternatively, by range, or we can use the document defaults. Once we've configured those settings, we just need to click the green tick, say OK. And then SOLIDWORKS will pick each of the dimensions and assign a balloon number to them. It then builds what's referred to as a bill of characteristics, shown here on the left-hand side. So, for example, if we take that 13.2 dimension and zoom to it, shown here on the screen, we can see there's one of those dimensions. Its value is 13.2, it's in millimetres, and it's a length-type dimension. The tolerance is picked up from the general table, and it will also break that dimension out and show us an upper and lower limit for that dimension. We can configure some other settings within here. Uh, maybe we want to show what operation creates that. We can do that from within there. And also we can specify an inspection method as well. So whether that's with a verniers or a gauge block, for example. Once we've completed that, we can then uh, export that out or create an Excel report or a PDF. I'm just going to leave that document now and we'll switch over into the standalone tool just to look at this one in a bit more detail. <clears throat> You'll see we have the same project on screen. The bill of characteristics is displayed slightly different, but it still uh, captures exactly the same information. The main difference here with the standalone tool is that this uses an OCR recognition. So if you are using PDF or TIFF files, we're going to have to manually uh, use the OCR to pick up that dimensional information. Another area that can be very useful is that we can read CMM data directly into the system. So if I go into some CMM results for this particular document, I can open those up and I can use some auto assign rules to apply those to each of the dimensions within my document. 
So you'll see we then get a colour-coded system across the bill of characteristics and also displayed on screen for us as well, showing us any dimensions that are pass, listed in green, red for fail and yellow for a marginal. So we can see all that information displayed there for us. In terms of outputs from the system, we can create a PDF document. So we're going to create our balloon drawing that somebody's going to use for an inspection project. You'll see the colour coding comes through here as well. And we can also create a fully detailed Excel report, again based on a particular standard, that will list all the characteristic information that's been captured in a really nice sort of standard format. These can be fully customised and also values can be inputted into here as well. So if we fill in the 13.2 dimension, you'll see that colour codes itself to green to show that it's accepted. It is a fairly brief look at the tool uh, and if you do require some additional information you can always contact us directly. But just in summary it should reduce delivery or time to market by eliminating errors and inconsistency. It creates all your inspection packages and reports within one tool. It does comply with industry standards, so if you're using automotive or aerospace standards, it can comply with those. We also have the ability to publish to XML systems for integration into quality tools. The main aim is to allow us to perform inspections faster, so we can type in measured values directly, we can use digital calipers, or also import results from any CMM. It has a highlighting of dimension system within it, with green, yellow and red based on the results.